when Home Depot opens at 6, so you assume all big box stores open at 6, and Michael's doesn't open until 9. We're just gonna wait it out. <laughs> Wow. Hi guys, welcome back. Julie Nicole here with all your thrifting and DIY needs. I don't know why I didn't fix this before I turned on the camera, but today I want to show you how to make this DIY um, li living wall. Um, so I pretty much followed a Lowe's tutorial. I'm going to link that below because I'm not going to go step by step how to make the frame. I think Lowe's does a fantastic job doing that themselves, so I highly recommend following their um, tutorial and that's why I'm linking it below. However, they use real plants um, and they use real dirt and mulch and I'm going to kind of make it different. So originally I did have real plants in there, however, there's no drainage and since it's indoors you don't want drainage because it's just going to run down your walls. So my plants were dying and I'm trying to be a better plant mom and then additionally you have to take it off the wall every like once every two weeks once depending on the season. They were all succulents so they didn't need a ton of water um, to water it and then you had to wait a little and then put it back up. However with how big this planter is and how much dirt is in there it's extremely heavy so it was kind of dangerous for me to be doing it alone getting up on a step ladder getting it off my wall and putting it on the ground and it was just a hassle and dangerous and I decided I didn't want dirt all over my living room anymore so instead of using real plants I'm going to show you how to use artificial plants so here we go So I got all the dirt out and I cleaned it all up. Now I'm going to take my styrofoam pieces. I couldn't find one big one so I just bought two of them and hopefully we'll just squeeze them in so they stay. I'm going to cut them to size and then I'm going to paint them green um, just really fast. Most of the artificial plants are going to cover them up anyway but I just don't want like a blaring white piece showing. So let's get started. Let's cut first. So I just have a a utility box cutter, whatever it's called. So. have the pieces painted I think I'm gonna try to stick them together with toothpicks just to make one big piece and then put it in because I think if I put one in at a time they're not gonna like line up straight so I just dropped toothpicks everywhere but here we go I want this one here. Now these are mostly dry, I was too impatient to wait, so eh, my fingers are green. I think that worked pretty well. Wow, it's pretty bright, but once we get the 
the flowers and I think we'll be good. So let me go get the fake flowers. Okay, so I kind of went crazy and I got a ton, but I really wanted it to look really full like the one you guys see in the Lowe's tutorial. Um, so I have a bunch of like background filling ones. So I think I'm gonna do the big ones first and then I'm gonna go in and um, fill in the holes with these little ones. Okay, so <laughs> this is such a weird angle. I think I'm done. 10 out of 10 would not recommend buying these because the bottoms don't have little spike things. So you'd have to get it like under the grate to, to use them and it just was really difficult. So I opted out of a lot of these. There's like four that I managed to like really stick in there, but I got I don't want to like chip on my nails and <laughs> ruin my nails, so I stopped, but I think it looks pretty full. Um, I'm going to add the D hooks to hang it back on the wall to the back of this. Hindsight 2020 should have added them back on before I did all this, but nothing should fall out and now there's no dirt to worry about. So I'm going to add the hooks and then I'm going to hang it back up and then we should be good. Okay, I'm going to place them in the same area. Um, Should fall out. Okay, now we're ready to hang. <laughs> All right, here we go. I really would prefer real plants um, it just really was impractical in my apartment and how with how heavy it was on the wall and there's no drainage so the plants weren't happy either so now that they're all fake plants it's gonna stay looking good year-round and it'll stay green and happy and it's so light now to pick to pick up even though I don't even need to do that anymore but I'm less worried about it ripping a hole in my wall so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed I'll see you whenever. Bye. <laughs> hey, baby. Do you want to say hi? <gasps> hi. Say goodbye. You hate being picked up. Bye.